When Michelle gave birth to her fifth child, Shine, a TV crew captured every moment. Michelle had struggled to escape a cycle of intergenerational trauma after leaving home at 16. Drug addicted, alcoholic, homeless, and then pregnant. The new baby was a chance for a fresh start. From where my other kids started off to where this baby's starting, it's a lucky one. The family was part of Life At, a fly-on-the-wall ABC documentary series that followed 11 Australian families through the years. She's very confident, very funny, very imaginative, very empathetic. The series was made in conjunction with Growing Up in Australia, one of the world's largest longitudinal studies following 10,000 families since 2003. The longitudinal part is the really novel part of the data, that we go back to the same children and the same families time and time again. So that does allow us to um, really find out what matters for those children growing up. Over the past 20 years, the study has given researchers valuable insights into everything from the benefits of three-year-old kindergarten to the impact of drugs, alcohol and violence on a child's development. Their findings have helped inform policy in areas from family law to paid parental leave. For example, you know, parents' employment, do, do they matter? Does going to childcare, does preschool, does that matter to children's outcomes? Shine is now 18. Her parents are separated, but Michelle has completed university, become a social worker and run her first 100 kilometre ultra marathon. She's been so driven to run to work her hardest. She's been so great. So I get a lot of that good stuff from my mum. <laughs> and Michelle is proud of the role she's played. I'm hoping that you know other families, um, as a result of the study, have access to the things that they need to break their own family cycles. Showing the power of family connections. Sasha Payne, ABC News.